So what difference does God's existence really make when it comes to the meaning of our life? You may be a Christian and have believed in God your whole life and still are struggling with your life's significance. That's a fair enough question, but to be clear, it's not the belief in God that is the thing that makes the difference. It's that he exists that makes the difference. We need to consider what it means to be made in God's image. This may be a phrase or a teaching that you've heard your whole life, but have forgotten its significance. First, what it means is that our nature some, in some way bears a resemblance to God. The Bible is not perfectly clear about this, and we have to be careful about going beyond what Scripture says, but what Scripture says is more than enough. There is something about our nature that, unlike anything else, is a reflection. It is an image, a representation of God's nature. And don't forget who God is, a being of ultimate worth and goodness. There is none like Him. There is none better than Him, more valuable than God. And in some way, what we are is a reflection and a resemblance of who he is. There is no more dignity than that. We also have been given a purpose like no other created thing. We glorify God uniquely and we have been placed in charge of God's creation. We'll explore this idea more later. But as David in Psalm 8 reflects upon this, as he once said, who am I God? that you are mindful of me. When I consider all that you have made, who am I? But it's not just that. David goes on to say how remarkable it is that God has placed us in charge of this creation. But it's not just what we are and what God has allowed us to do that makes us significant. It is that we are loved by God. The being of ultimate worth knows everything about us all of the bad things that we've ever done, and yet he still loves us. Consider and reflect on this. What you are is not a cosmic accident. You are one that is made in God's image, been called to care and cultivate the world that he has made, to do this in a relationship with him, but not just any kind of relationship, not a utilitarian one, not a slave master kind of one, you were made to do this in fellowship with the God that loves you and has invited you into that kind of life. 